Hi guys, so I know I look like a nutter right now with one eye done and one eye not but I thought it had been um, a wee while since I've done a tutorial for you guys so I thought what better to do than Naked on the Run so um, this is the eagerly anticipated new palette from Urban Decay and part of the Naked range so we have Naked, what's in the Naked range now? We have Naked 1, 2 and 3 obviously. Um, there was a lot of rumours about Naked 4 but no it was this Naked on the Run. So the best way I can explain Naked on the Run is if any of you remember the face cases that Urban Decay brought out, it's very similar to them but it's like face case went away, grew up and came back a lot more classy, sexy and naked. So I'm going to open it up and show you guys. So what you're getting inside uh, Naked on the Run is you're getting a flushed palette, you're getting your highlighter, and you're getting, um, they, the Urban Decay are claiming that it's a mix between um, Naked 1, 2 and 3, the, the colour selection. Now what I found funny was that the colours don't actually have names on them, so very, very um, fitting to the comparison with the old face cases that we done last year. The, the shadows in that didn't have names either, but you can actually really see that it's a mix between the, the pinky shades, the cooler shades of two, and then the, the warm shades of one. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to recreate this really soft cut crease that I've done. Now, um, obviously it's, as you can see, Naked on the Run, it's supposed to be... Um, a palette that you can really pick up, go, it's a soft nice palette that you can do something nice and subtle with. Um, the gloss that you're getting with it as well is a limited edition one to the palette and we have a naked lip gloss called Bessel but this one's now called Cecil and it's quite, it's got a little shimmer to it the way naked um, colour naked lip gloss does. And then the eyeliner, the 24-7 eyeliner that you're getting with it as well is called Stag. Now I absolutely love this. It's like a, a purpley brown tone almost. Um, I've got it on here, I've winged it out. Don't know if you can see that, but it's 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 very it's dark, but it's um it's almost like a kind of burgundy tone. So then you're getting um your travel size perversion mascara as well which obviously is a bonus as it's amazing. So I'm going to show you how to recreate the soft cut crease that I've done um, in a very different way from how I, I've maybe done cut creases in the past. Right, so first of all, um, I should start by saying that I have my Eden Primer Potion on as always. I've primed the eye with it and I've highlighted the brow bone just with the highlighter colour here. So the first um, colours that I'm going to use is I'm going to take this matte light one and then the darker matte one and I'm going to buff them into my crease. So let's do that. So I'm starting with the lighter of the two, the two matte colours, okay. And just with a big fluffy brush, I'm buffing that into my crease. Taking it quite far out as well because we're going to wing out that um, cut crease. You can see the separation starting already. This is um, a very wearable cut crease look. A lot of people, um, cut crease was so in fashion last year. Everybody wanted that really dramatic, twiggy cut crease look. Um, I've never actually done a cut crease tutorial on YouTube. I've, I've done them on um, Instagram, like pictorial and things, but never on YouTube. And it is the one that I get asked about the most probably, so I'm sorry that it's taken me so long to do it. But I kind of felt as if they were going out of fashion a wee bit. I, was, I certainly wasn't wearing them as much as I had been. So I quite like this because it's kind of a, a more kind of toned down twist on a cut crease. I mean it's very very wearable even if somebody maybe didn't have the best of eyelids for a, a proper full on cut crease. This is a very wearable one. Okay that's me just taking the darker matte colour now and really packing that on the inner crease. 
So the deeper into the socket you go is where it, you want it to be darker. So that's why I'm taking that darker matte shadow there. Nice and soft when you're coming up to the brow bone. Um, I think I'll leave it there actually. Yeah, so you've got that. Don't lose your brow bone colour. You can always, as I always say, you can always buff down as well as buff up. Just make sure that um, you're winging out the crease just slightly to follow when we cut it off. Okay, so this is the, the tricky part. This is the bit that probably requires the most skill and you need um, a nice steady hand for it, okay? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some concealer and I'm taking a flat brush and I'm just going to mark out the crease shape now or that lid colour. So as you can see, a nice flat brush and I'm just going to mark it out. I take it slightly above my actual crease just so that if my eye, if I'm blinking and I've got a shimmer on the lid, it doesn't go up into that crease colour. Always give yourself some blink space, I call it. And then once you're marking the line out, you're filling the whole lid and concealer as well. And you want to get that line that's um, cutting the crease as sharp as possible. So I've got a little angle headed brush here as well that I'm going to use just to sharpen it up. But I'm sticking with the flat brush just now to cover more area. And keep checking the other eye because you want to make it as similar to each other as possible. Now you can see I'm really pulling it out now. And filling it in. And when you reach the end, don't worry about connecting it up. I'm just going to almost feather it away so it's almost like a floating crease. Let me just look at them in the mirror and see if they're nice and even. So now I'm just taking that wee flat brush that I spoke about, so just an angle headed brush and I'm just sharpening off that. And what this does is it not only cuts the crease for you, but it makes your life easier when it comes to putting on the, the lid colour. Because that base of concealer, although you've got your eye primer on, that base of concealer, what it's going to do is it's really going to make the colour stronger on whatever lid colour that you're putting on your eye. Okay, so once we've got that on, I'll let you see it up close. So once we've got that on, then we can pack the, the lid shadow on, as I said. So the colours that I'm going to use on the lid are, I'm using the highlighter on the inner corner. And then I'm going to use the rose gold one towards the outer edge. So taking that light highlighter first and packing it on the inside. I'm taking it about halfway in. And really again, you need a nice kind of flat edge shadow brush to meet up the line that the concealer made for you. Then I'm taking the rose gold colour, as I said, and doing the outer edge. Okay, so nice and soft. And then we can do the liner. So I've, I've literally only used the, the pencil 
that comes with Naked on the Run. It's called Stag, so it's a 24 hour pencil. Same as all our other Urban Decay ones, waterproof, sweatproof, smudge proof. Um, mine's needs a wee bit of a sharpen. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to apply it straight from the pencil, but then I'm, to get that wing with it, I'm going to drag it out with an um, angled headed brush. So I'm actually doing something a wee bit different. I'm not putting my eyeliner in the waterline. I'm going to just put it along my lash line. If you can see that, I've left my waterline makeup free. So I'm going to just run it along the lash line and then smoke it out with some of the colours from the palette. So literally just going underneath the lash line and not in the waterline. And don't worry if you if this bit's messy because you're smoking it out anyway. I always say not to worry about this if you're doing it or not. So this is the dark matte one that I applied in the crease that I'm now buffing this out with. But I'm also going to take a little touch of this shimmered one, the one that I think is kind of warm, like Naked One. I'm going to take a little shimmer of that as well on the brush. And it just means when I'm, I'm smoking this out that I get a nice kind of glimmer over the top of the pencil as well. Okay, so once we've smoked that, I'm just taking my crease brush again and then smoking out the, the outer edge of it as well. Okay, now we can do the hard bit. Well, the hard bit for me, because I need to get it right on camera in front of all you guys in one take. Oh, the joy of doing YouTube live. So, um, stag again, and I'm just going to line my top lash line with it. Now, don't try and attempt to flick with the pencil. I'm just keeping that at the edge of the eye at the minute and I'll, I'll flick that out once I get my brush on. Okay, so I've lined the eye. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take an angle-headed brush, so my liner brush, and what I'm almost going to do is just rub pick up some of the product of the pencil onto the sharp head of the brush and flatten the brush against the head of the pencil to drag it out. And you can see I almost make the outline of the flick and then when I'm pulling through the middle it's going to sharpen the flick right off and then it's almost just like painting by numbers and filling in that outer marking that you've made. Because there's no way in hell you are going to get that sharp flick with a pencil head. It's almost like you're turning, I do this quite a lot, of it, especially if you've came for a lesson with me in store or um, you've seen me if you've had your makeup done by me, so you'll know that I break the heads off a lot of the pencils and use them as a gel liner. Um, Urban Decay pencils are amazing for doing that because they are so creamy and they do set as well, so you've got that kind of playtime before they do become 24 hour. Okay, and now we have that flick. Right, so once we've got that on, now we can apply some lashes. This is a nice quick video. I can't believe that I've just done a cut crease in literally 10 minutes. Usually a cut crease takes a good wee while, but this is my Naked on the Run cut crease, so we've got to run somewhere, obviously. So I'm taking my lash and I'm popping it on. And this is just the Urban Decay glue that I'm using as well. So I always pop my um, glue on and pinch from the middle with your lashes. Think of that we blow until it goes um, a bit UV looking. So the almost the glue almost tells you when it's ready to be um, stuck down it will go a kind of darker shade of blue and as I said drag the eye 
pinched in the middle and apply straight to the middle and that way when the corners are up you've got that um, reposition if the middle's down then you just need to do the edges Okay, so while that glue dries, I'm not going to attempt to put mascara on it until it's dry because it's just going to lift the lash right off. So while that dries, we can do a little bit of the face as well because I've only, I've only done this side of my face. I need some bronzer and blush on this side. That's why I look deathly white. Plus, I've not done my tan in a while. I think I need to do a tan video just to get me in the mood for putting fake tan on again. Okay, so now that the lash is on, I'm going to give it a wee bit of drying time before I try and put my mascara on. So now I can do my um, my face. So with the, the Naked on the Run, as I said to you, it comes with a, a flushed palette in it and a highlighter. So I'm taking the bronzer from the flushed palette and I'm taking it onto my cheekbone and buffing it round. So this is where you do the figure three. I'm sure you've heard that a million times, but... It is literally a figure three, so you're wanting to go up and round the hairline. And then round onto the cheekbone. And then round onto the jawline. And then with the blush, you want it on the apple of the cheek, so the smile. And sweeten downwards of the apple. I've not worn pink blush in literally years, so um, for me to put this on was a big deal when I got naked on the run the other day, and I thought to myself, oh, pink blusher, can I do it? Can I do it? But I'm actually really surprisingly liking it again, along with pink lipstick. I'm starting to really, really like pink lipstick again. I think it's because pink's coming much more back into fashion, whereas it was so out for so long. Everybody was doing the gothic thing with burgundies and dark greens and blacks. Uh, but um, thanks to Machino, the pink and Barbie and girly things are all coming back in. Right, so I've got that on now and I'm just going to pop some of the highlighter. So the highlighter's been a big feature in this. We've been using this on the eyes, we've been using it on the face, brow bone. So that I'm just taking it up and down my cheekbone now, slightly onto my chin and on my nose. And that's quite a soft um, contour for me to be honest, I would usually go in a lot stronger but I'm actually, as I said, enjoying having it that kind of girly, softer way. Um, if you can't tell already, my hair is doing my head in and I know I get a lot of criticism in my videos because I keep touching my hair but if your hair was touching your bum as well and you hadn't straightened it, it would do your head in as well. I'm just putting that disclaimer out there. So now that my eye um, lash has stuck, I'll just make sure. Yep, nice and secure. Just push the spine into the edge of the lashes. I'm going to pop on my Perversion Mascara. So the hook with Perversion is, is that it's the blackest mascara um, on the market and a certain Kardashian sister wore it on her wedding day. Um, her makeup artist really start before we'd even launched the mascara. So that hype about it was really eagerly anticipated because he had released it before we even got a chance to. So perversion. And the great side the great thing about the one that comes with Naked Run is yes, it's a travel size mascara, but the brush is the same size as the regular brush that you would get on a full size perversion. They've not made the brush any smaller, which is great. So we're just popping that on first. So we're going from underneath the falsies. And this will actually lift the false eyelashes up and out of your vision as well. Hence the reason I always wait to put mascara on after I've applied a false eyelash. I know some people like doing it beforehand. But I just think um, for the clients, um, comf like to make the client more comfortable or to make you more comfortable, using this to kind of pull them up and out of your vision is always the best way. Plus, I like getting a little bit on the lashes as well. Okay, so once it's on the top, we can put some on the bottom as well. Just 
some serious mascara faces being pulled right now out of the shot which I'm so glad you can't see and that's us got the mascara on okay so um, as I said to you, it also comes with the, the Naked Lip Gloss in Sesso. Now, I um, I wanted a bolder lip, so I already have lipstick on, but I'm going to put the gloss on top. I have on um, the lip liner and, oh, what one is it? It's Turn On, Turn On Lip Liner I have on from Urban Decay and Native Lipstick. And then I'm just going to pop the lip gloss on top. Because again, I'm not a big fan of lip gloss. I've always been a lipstick sort of girl. But recently, I love, 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 love the naked lip glosses. Not even so much because of the colours or I'm starting to love gloss again. But for the fact that these lip glosses literally are the bammiest, nicest lip glosses I've ever tried for the simple fact that if I've got chapped lips, which I usually do, especially because I wear a lot of matte lipstick, these soften your lips. I'll wear this literally if I've taken all my makeup off and I just have my face cream on just to soften my lips almost as a treatment. So if you haven't tried these, I suggest you try it. And obviously you'll be able to try it if you buy the Naked on the run. So... That is Naked On The Run guys, I'm going to just give you one last look at the palette itself. Beautiful! And this is out of packaging. It's so beautiful, it is really. Um, it's a great um, stocking filler for somebody. The retail price of it will be exactly the same as the Naked palette, it's £37. And when you think about everything you're getting in that, I think it's more than worth the money, especially because of the Naked Flush, the eyeshadows, full size lip gloss, and travel size mascara and eyeliner. And the travel sizes, as always, we are, been, are very, very generous, okay? So I'm just going to show you this up close. I'll have pictures on my Instagram and on Facebook. Can you see? If you want the, the HD version. And yeah, that was Naked Run guys. Hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you soon.